Hi, Tim Unkert here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install VS Code on an ARM-based Chromebook. So I have an Acer Spin 311 here. It has a MediaTek Campanillo uh, processor. That's an ARM processor. I can show you that. I'm going to go to Settings here. And if I go down to About Chrome OS, and I go to Diagnostics, we can see that we have the MediaTek Campanillo 500. That's an ARM-based processor. So um, I'm going to go about and install Linux the traditional way. Um, if you go down here to About Chrome OS, click on that and scroll down, you'll see that you have the option for the Linux development environment. I'm going to click Setup and then Next. And you can choose the recommended disk size or a custom disk size. So you can put custom and then move the slider around. I'm going to stick with recommended. I'm going to stick with the username they give me, which I believe is based off of the email. Um, you can change this now if you want to. Uh, but I'm going to keep those the same and click install. And I'm going to let that run through and go ahead and install. And I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once Linux has been installed, a terminal will pop up and close this out. Let me maximize this and just make this a little bit larger so you can see it. We want to make sure everything's up to date, so I'm going to type sudo apt update and then two ampersands for and sudo apt upgrade. I can give a dash y flag to answer yes to any additional space and I'm going to hit enter. Okay, once that's run through, I'm going to close out this terminal and I'm going to open up my browser here. And I want to search for VS Code. Okay, when I get to VS Code here, I'm not going to go to the regular page. I'm going to go to the download page. And under here, you'll see a bunch of Linux options. And we want the .deb, but we don't want the x64. We want the ARM64 because this is an ARM Chromebook. So I'm going to download that one. And you see at the end here, ARM64.deb. So I'll click Show in Folder. If you were doing an AMD-based Chromebook, you would want um, you would want the AMD one, but we are doing ARM. So I'm going to right-click on this and click Install with Linux. It's going to go and reach out and fetch some information. I'll click Install, and then OK. And now I can close this out, and I can close out my browser as well. Okay, it may take a moment or two to install, but once it does, we can go to our launcher here. If we go on down to our Linux apps, we can see we have the icon for Visual Studio Code. What I like to do is right-click this and pin it to my shelf so it ends up here. And now we can click to open VS Code. And here we go. We've got VS Code open. We can begin customizing and using VS Code on your ARM-based Chromebook. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.